strong acid and a strong base are mixed together, a neutralization reaction occurs. They end up forming water and salt. And at the end of the reaction, if the molar ratio of reactants was balanced, we'll get a solution with a pH of 7, or neutral solution. When an acid and a base are mixed, the equivalence point is when the number of moles of hydrogen ions equals the number of moles of hydroxide ions. With strong acids and bases reacting, the reaction produces a neutral solution with a pH of 7. When we do a titration, where we add an acid or a base with a known concentration, called the standard solution, to a base or an acid with an unknown concentration, we need a way to know when the equivalence point has been reached. To do this, we use an indicator. Indicators are often used to determine when enough of the standard solution has been added to neutralize the acid or base. The indicator needs to change color near the equivalence point. The point at which the indicator does change color is called the endpoint of the titration. The endpoint is not the same as the equivalence point, but it's usually very near it on the pH scale. So let's look at the steps of a titration. First, a measured volume of an acid solution of unknown concentration is added to a flask. Then, several drops of the indicator are added to the solution while the flask is gently swirled. And then, measured volumes of a base of known concentration are mixed into the acid until the indicator just barely changes color and stays that color for about 10 seconds. At this time, you've reached the endpoint. The equivalence point, where hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions are equal, is not exactly the same as the endpoint. The endpoint is where the indicator changes color. The standard solution should change the indicator color so that the endpoint can be determined. You want to see the color change usually just after the equivalence point has been reached. For example, phenolphthalein turns pink with a base around the pH of 8. So the endpoint of a titration with a base will be measured when the solution just turns pink. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.